Right, nice day again. Went shopping for some wood and some hinges and some foam. And I couldn't really show you in there, but when I pick out this timber out of the rack, I put a pile that's maybe, maybe not, and those that I like. And when I stack them up, and you need to look down the timber, you know, look along it, see how straight it is. But you can't lay every piece down. So what I do is I lift it up. So imagine it being on the rack like that. I look up it, and I lift it up, and I I look up it that way and turn it around and put it in one rack or the other depending on whether I like it or not then I've got, I've got seven pieces here but I'll pick out ten or eleven or the best anyway what I'll do is use my feet knock it together at the bottom pull it together in the middle So it's something like flush there, and then look up it, and you can see which is the worst. You see that second one sticks out a bit. You see it better on that side. And by doing that, I can pick out which ones are the worst bent. I bent the worst, and I can select the ones that I want. I've just put some tape down might put a couple at the ends as well just so that I can line the frame up I can lift this board out now and sit the wooden frame back on right, I've sat my frame down and it's surprisingly flat as the floor I just sat one timber on there and I've cut one down to put at the back and it's very flat across there straight and if I sight those two through so those two top edges to me they look fairly depends which angle you look at I think they're I think they're you know fairly parallel they're not twisted so I'm just going to fix this frame Fix it straight down to the floor. Like I say, put a bit more masking tape around. So I'm going to fix that. Let's fill up some of these holes first. Disconnect that socket. That socket's going to get moved out here. Filled up all the gaps. Sprayed a bit under the skirting. Fill that gap up. Sparky was working just up the road, like he says, he called in. Oh, you can tell he's been. He's moved that wire over here, so I can fish that up. He's just put tape on the end like I so I can fish, fish the wire up. Put a box on the front. Screwed it down. Ready to put that back on. But I put a 20 volt baton all round. Cut this board one way around. Don't matter about that. But what I'm going to do is just start lining it out, cutting the corners. This one will run in there. Get a few pins in it, plenty of glue. Put the batten on the edge so that this comes out a bit more. So when I get a three inch timber on the top, I've got something solid to fix to. Uh, I've just put a line on the back wall there, use my square to transfer that across. When I fix that button on, I'll err on the side of caution and put it maybe a fraction too low than too high. If it's too low, I can always pack it up a fraction to get this top rail right. If it's too high, then I'm chiselling away at it. That'll be a pain. 
So like I say, I'll leave it too low. Just the point showing there. Right, I'll be able to screw that through top of the pin it at the bottom when I'm ready. I think I'll do these side ones first before I get carried away putting glue on things. And if I want another packer I can just slide one in. But I think that'll be enough. There's going to be another pattern on the face of this as well to create the rebate for the door. I have to get these angles, cut a timber to that angle. And my saw set at that so then I can rip a piece off so then I can cut that that's not bad then I can cut that end right well it seems that all these joints are the same same angle so while the saw was set I went around and cut all these pieces they're fairly good. So now I can get a button on there, button on there, like I did at the back of there. And I can start thinking about gluing and pinning all this together. And I have just realised I made a mistake. I've got an off cut there, and one, two pieces I can get out of that one. But I cut one of the off cuts up to make these two short pieces. And the off cuts, these off cuts, for in there so I'm going to be one of those short so I'm going to double them up but it doesn't matter I've still got to cut a fascia to go across the front anyway so I'll just rip another one of them down I've got my little block in the van
Uh, I'm going to put some pocket hole screws along here. Put a little lever. Put face on, but I don't mind. Same there, there, all the way along. Put a few screws, then I can screw that down on this edge. Nail the joints together. Nail it in there. That's all nailed and screwed together. The only nail I missed was this one here. Put two buttons on, just nailed and pinned them on. I've sat this on top of there, so it's in line with that. I'm just going to mark underneath there with a pencil. Same on that end. Cut them off. Hopefully it'll just slide up against that. Oh, that went in better than I thought. Just glued and pinned it in. I've got another one to go on the other side. I'll probably put a couple of blocks and then another strip of strip of this button along the top to make it chunky. Alright. That's it for now. A little frustrating that I haven't got another board for that, but the offcuts were a bit short to do these bits. Like I said, I'll cut another one tomorrow, get that other piece in, and once those are in, get some packers behind here, get these straight and screwed back. They don't need a lot, just a couple of fixings. I'll cut a fascia tomorrow as well when I cut that board. If I haven't said it already, my back's hurting, so I'm going home. I need to go get some food now.